Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. My name is Zain and you are watching my YouTube channel Learn Math. In our previous video, I have solved this problem by the sum of natural numbers formula. You can find the link in the description. In this video, we will use combination to solve the problem. If the order of the objects does not matter, then we use combination. If the order is important, then we use permutation. We will talk about this in detail in our upcoming videos. Now going to our own question. Suppose we have two persons A and B. So there will be just one handshake. If we have three persons A, B and C. So there will be three handshakes. And if we have four persons, let A, B, C and D. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if there are four persons, there are six handshakes. If two persons, one handshake, three persons, three handshakes, and four persons, six handshakes. Now we will use formula to verify this. Because the order of the persons does not matter. So n will be the number of persons. Let we have A, B, C, D are four persons. And we know that two persons can make one handshake. A, B, C, D is four. So number of persons N, N will be four. And R is two. So four C two is equal to four factorial divided by two factorial and 4 minus 2 factorial. Now we will simplify this. 4 factorial, 4 into 3 into 2 factorial, divide by 2 factorial into 2 factorial. We will cancel 2 into 2 factorial with 4 and 3 twos are 6. So if n is 4 and r is 2, 4 c 2 is equal to 6. In this type of questions, we have three things, number of persons, number of handshakes in R, which is always two. Now we are going to solve the main problem. 66 is the number of handshakes is given in the question. In two persons can make one handshake, two persons can make one handshake so R is 2 and number of persons we don't know we have to find number of persons we will take the formula n factorial divide by r factorial into n minus r factorial is equal to number of handshakes which is given 66 which is given in the question now we will put values in the formula so n factorial divide by 2 factorial into n minus 2 factorial is equal to 66 Now we will simplify n into n minus 1, n minus 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial, n minus 2 factorial and is equal to 66. We will cancel this and multiply 2 with 66. So n into n minus 1 is equal to 132. 
which is again a quadratic equation then we can solve this easily so the quadratic equation is n square minus n minus 132 is equal to 0 now we will factorize this n square minus 12 n plus 11 n minus 132 is equal to 0 taking n common n minus 12 plus 11 into n minus 12 is equal to 0 n minus 12 into n plus 11 is equal to 0 n is equal to 12 or n is equal to minus 11 so we will cancel the negative and choose positive because the number of persons cannot be negative and number of persons here is 12 we solved one problem with two different methods one method is the summation method and the second method is the combination method if you have any questions please ask in the comment section like the video share it and if you are new on my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much